Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. No denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Laguna Hills, California, Diesel. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, do it back to your point. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lands the right hand over the top. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands through the middle. That is, oh man, this dude is good. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Back and forth we go! Look at 
had him whip his hip into that kick. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Jab, cross, high kick, go. That shot blocked by Lee. Oh, that's a good right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Let him go. Time to let unable to connect there. Now connects with a right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. High cross, baby, high cross. Give him a high cross. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Hands up, hands up. Body shot there. Big kick lands. Two minutes to go in the round. Spinning back fist. Under two minutes to go in our first round. There's no tell on that leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Big roundhouse now just misses. That blocks that kick to the body. Oh, nice right hand. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, lands an uppercut to the head now, DC. Usually when you're the shorter fighter, you can land those types of shots. Look back to Mike Tyson in his prime. He landed those over and over again to put guys to sleep. Oh! Fifteen seconds. Final seconds here. Ooh, blocks the shot. Round two next. A lot, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round. DC takes us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Just out of range with that right hook. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. 
beautiful punch. Big body kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Big kick lands. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just misses there with the left. Shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. The uppercut flails and misses. Oh, big punch land. Hip over when he throws that kick. Punch is blocked. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Beautiful kick. My goodness. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the kicks to the body, certainly the big storyline in that previous round. DC, take us through the replay. He did a fantastic job of finding his spots. He was sneaking that kick right up under the elbow and landing those nasty body kicks. He did a great job of recognizing a weakness in his opponent's game and really taking advantage of it. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. 
lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Punch lands. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Nice leg kick lands. Going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Good punch lands. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Back to the jab now, no good. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Head kick. All right, so he's doing a nice job here controlling the center of the octagon, keeping his opponent on the outside. Oh, I love it, John. I love it. And watch how his foot looks like a compass. His lead leg will always point in the direction that he wants to go as he tries to cut off his opponent. It is unbelievable to watch, and it's so great to watch a man with knowledge of the octagon control as this young gentleman is showing. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, nice job landing that knee strike. here, but just out of range. Waning seconds here of round number three. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. 
Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Nice kick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice straight punch. Able to check the high kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offer in there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Under three minutes remain in round four. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated, and so able to fight from both fighting stances. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Unable to connect with the right. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Slips the shot. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. All right, single collar tie now. Flush right hand is true. Right punches there. Oh, strong punch there. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Visibly limping here. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Lee's head kick attempt. That one is blocked. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. All right, here we go. Set the base, man. Set the base. 
20 seconds to go. Oh, found the hole for that left hand. Blocks the shot. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Way to hide that leg kick. Wild swing there. Nice head kick. Oh, Superman punch. Real quick leg kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, oh, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Punch coming, it's blocked. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Diggy kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Less than three minutes to go now in this fifth and final round. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the way. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Circling to his right. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Great punch. Switching stances here. That was a thudding leg kick. Under two minutes remain in the fight. Watch knees to the body. Lee's shot is blocked. Nice leg kick. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Oh. Big head kick lands. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Big punch land. Ooh. And he lands a kick. 
kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Seconds to go. Huge block there. Nice punch, man. So the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Join the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that start to finish, and he wins a unanimous.